Hi everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to download Sentinel-1 radar images. To download these images, you need to go to the Copernicus Open Access Hub website. Here click on the mentioned website. You are viewing the Copernicus website. In this section, select the Open Hub option. After entering, you need to sign up in this site. You can register by filling in the required information. Then enter the site. There are a variety of layers to help display the terrain better. Go to your area. Draw a polygon on your area. Determine the start date in this section. And specify the second or end date. In this period, all the images available images will appear for you. Select the Sentinel-1. In the product type section, you can use two formats, SLC and GRD. Here we will select GRD first. You can select IW for sensor mode. Select the search option to display all the images with the characteristics you specified. Here are the images. Since these images are for the recent days and months, they can be downloaded. The images of a year ago and earlier are offline and cannot be downloaded. To download, you need to send a request so that after one hour to one day these images can be downloaded. You can see the specifications of each image in this section. The size of the GRD image is less than 2 GB, but because the file is compressed, these images are about 1 GB in size. You can see all the other specifications of these images in this section. If the image is suitable for you and covers the entire area, you can select the download option and download the image. We search images in SLC format. As you can see, these images were displayed. And the size of these images is more than GRD format images. These images are mostly used for the extraction of subsidence and earthquakes because of the special bands in these images. After downloading the images, you can display them in the snap.
We have already produced a complete and comprehensive tutorial on working with Sentinel-1 images which is available in the channel. All the pre-processing and processing of these images are available in this video. Here we display the image. Each of the polarizations of Sentinel-1 has different characteristics. For instance, VV polarization is used to better identification of urban built-up areas and bare soil and has a higher backscatter, which is why these areas have a lighter color tone. But VH polarization has higher redistribution in vegetation areas. You can display these images in different color combinations to have a better visual view of the area. If you have any questions, ask us in the comments.